pardon the pun, uh, emphasis on the word suppressing uh, press freedom in India, no country for journalists. I ask this because the RSF report on uh, India press freedom says that there's a crisis in the world's largest uh, democracy. It would almost be uh, laughable if it weren't having such serious ramifications on people's lives. What we just heard about this, you know, this Twitter feed, it was anonymous. It keeps logging off. It, it, it gets deleted. It comes back on this Twitter handle and the police are acting based on that. But uh, 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 reporters without freedoms in their report they actually say that you know it was very early on that this government took a critical stance vis-a-vis -vis journalists seeing them as intermediaries you don't need to you know pollute a direct relationship that uh, these uh, this government has with with supporters and here you're seeing a case where uh, we have Meghnath who's basically saying it's acting on dissent uh, see, Sarah, I think uh, uh, I was just hearing Justice uh, Pardiwala, the Supreme Court judge. Uh, while speaking today, he said that even the dictatorship has a rule of law. Today, what we're witnessing in this country in the name of democracy, uh, the question should be asked whether there is a rule of law or not. Or if there is a rule of law, are there the two sets of rule of laws? First, a rule of law for the Nupur, Nupur Sharma is different. The rule of law for the Zubair is entirely different. Uh, Nup uh, Nupur Sharma uh, said something and uh, which is objectionable. And it has uh, it has a repercussions also uh, because of her statements. Uh, more than fifteen countries asked India to uh, to apologize and clarify. And because of her statement, uh, the violence did happen in Kanpur and other places. Because of her statement, uh, uh, whatever happened in Udaipur, uh, everybody knows and Amravati. But uh, till now, no action has been taken, and even the Supreme Court has been very scathing on uh, in in his uh, observations. But did anything happen? Did Delhi police uh, had gone and arrested her? And Delhi police, uh, in her, uh, in his, in its uh, statement, very clearly said that you have to arrest some people and you have to put your hand on some people who don't have strength to arrest you. So, despite Supreme Court uh, uh, double bench such a scathing comment, nothing has moved. But Except in case the of judges Zubair, themselves were became victim to uh, you know comments against in, them on social media. Yeah, in case of in case of Zubair. Uh, he has tweeted, a movie was made in 1983. He tweeted in, 19, in, in 2018 and arrested in 2022. And for which he could have gone, uh, he could have got a bail uh, from the court. And uh, before arresting him, uh, uh, the, 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 the police has to make a clarification. Because mm. uh, according to the Supreme Court, anybody in any case uh, where the punishment is not for the seven years mm. uh, before uh, you can't arrest. But here he is not even getting uh, even the bail from the court also. It, it's uh, And he has been sent to judicial custody for, for two days, it's two, for, the two, for two weeks. So the issue is whether there is a rule of law in this country or not. Whether the fundamental right of mine and, and is yours it equal for will all? be defined on the basis of on which side you are. 